Weaver Irvin Trujillo builds up tradition. Carrying on a tradition is basically using or interpreting what my father said and my forefathers said to express today. It's not only using the past, but also bringing my contribution into the tradition to help the tradition grow. I'm a weaver, and my father told me I was a seventh generation weaver. My curiosity kind of took hold, and then as I grew older, I wondered where I came from, and then I started asking questions, and I took what I learned in weaving when I was 10 years old to start to interpret the culture and try to express myself as part of the culture, and also express things in the world that are happening. The techniques that my great-grandfather and his father used were out of necessity. And most of the weaving here in my family was done as frazadas. And the frazada is a Spanish word for blanket. My father started working in Los Alamos at the laboratory because he wanted to earn money to start his own studio and shop. And he ended up staying there because the schools were some of the best in the state in New Mexico. We were brought up in the scientific world and the scientific culture, and then on weekends we'd come here to Chimayo, which was the Spanish culture that had been maintained. There wasn't anything to do in Los Alamos except ride my bike around and my dad would come home from work and then he'd start weaving on this big loom. And then he'd come and eat dinner and then go back to weave and he'd weave till like 10 o'clock at night. Well, I heard all this racket that the loom was making and I went over to see what he was doing and it looked interesting so I just stood there and watched him. And after a while he asked me if I wanted to learn and I told him that I did. I knew weaving was in my family, but I did, really didn't know that my father was a master. In my upbringing, he didn't say, you have to weave a red piece with white and black, or he kind of gave me philosophies on designing. He used to say that color was the most important part of the piece. It wasn't materials or technique, it was color. What I eventually learned as I got older is that Weaving an individual design, not copying the design over and over, was more attractive to people. My dad's philosophy in designing was to weave a new design every time I got to the loom. And I developed a vocabulary for designing. The early inspiration was my father's philosophy. Because he didn't have any drawings or he didn't take pictures of his weavings, my grandfather we only had a few examples left. So those were inspiration. And when I got married to my wife, Lisa, we started to do research in museum collections. So that influenced our vocabulary in designing. We didn't copy the old pieces, but we used the ideas from pieces to create our own designs.
it was a midlife crisis and the theme was cars because I was looking for something to weave and what I did is I stood still here in the studio and I listened for sound. And the only sound I ever heard was the cars passing by. And I started to think about how cars influence our lives. In the early stages of life, we want the sports cars. And then later on in midlife, we have to work. So the truck in our culture is used to work. Old age for me was represented by hearse. And death to me was the space shuttle. Boy, I, I did that, I really don't know. I, I have an engineering degree <laughs> and I, I kind of thought that te technology, uncontrolled technology will basically destroy us. And, um, and then after death, I started to think about, well, what happens after death? And I represented that with a, a dove, a white bird. And then up at the top of the piece, I have two birds talking to each other, telling about their path and their life to the other bird. And that's kind of like the, the vereda, which is the path. That's the path of life. I've thought about what purpose I was here for and I really feel that in my career as a weaver I was entrusted with the tradition to put our culture into the new millennium to guide the development of my culture and my influences in the tradition as it grows. Most important part of what I've done in my life so far is to learn about my heritage and to express it so that people can look at my weavings and my work and learn a little bit about where Chimayo comes from. <laughs>